y'all really had a brotherhood over these years, man. And it's um, it's just that you know we always got to keep rock memory alive, man. But like, it, it's just sad, man. You know, tell us what PNB rock meant to you, man. Yeah, it's it's so rare to find a genuine friendship in this shit. Like super rare. You know what I'm saying? Like me and bro did music, but we never talked about music when we was together. Type shit. You know, mm-hmm. the nigga lived next door to me mm-hmm. in LA. Like, right next door. Used to throw oranges and lemons in my motherfucking backyard and shit. I used to call him, hey, man, turn the music down a little bit. Because he got the studio to the crib. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Nigga came to my baby shower. He came to my people's funeral. Came to my engagement party last month. You know what I'm saying? All type of shit. He was there. He was there for me. I was there for him. You know what I'm saying? That was a real friendship. You know? And being from Philly and from Detroit is like different places, same struggles type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was that was like... A genuine friend. That was like a real friend. You know? Tell us a PNB rock story nobody know. A PNB rock story nobody know. Damn. You probably got so many. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, he ain't really drink like that, right? So, whenever he was around us and shit, he'd get drunk as hell. Whenever he around us. And he'll always sneak off and go throw up. Bro was a fucking lightweight, bro. Right. Like, yeah. Super lightweight. He gonna throw up. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. All type of shit. Another one. Um, We walked in this motherfucking gas station. It was this lady working behind the counter and shit. And you know every gas station got them CDs in there and shit like that, right? The nigga asked her. He like, is that your CD? The lady working at the gas station. I'm thinking he trolling her playing and shit. She's like, yeah, that's my CD. He like, oh, shit, let me buy it. Gave her like $100 for the CD. Oh, how the fuck you peeped that? I don't even pay attention to the CDs right. back there type shit. Right. Bro was just a genuinely good nigga. And one thing that a lot of people don't know about him, because, like, bro singing and shit, so people might get it confused and shit. Like, bro was really, like, treacherous. You know what I'm saying? And then coming from a city like yours, you go to other trenches and think, this, this ain't worse than my trenches. Right. This can't be worse than my trenches. If ain't nothing happened to me there, can't nothing happen to me nowhere, because I come from the worst shit. Right. And that was his mindset, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, man. Long live PNB, man. Long live PNB.